I would like to show you how to download and install SQL Server in Mac. So I do have the instructions noted down here. I'll be following the same. So first and foremost, you need to download this Docker software from this URL. So you need to copy this and then type it here. So that'll take you to this page. Then simply click on download for Mac. That's what we intend to do. And then get Docker. Then it'll ask you to save the file. Simply click on OK. That'll install, that'll download it in the folder, in your default downloads folder. That's done. Right. So once this is done, you can open the file. That is docker.dmz. Then I'm double clicking it to open the file so that this setup process will start. Then once this is done, you need to drag and drop. See as the instruction says, drag and drop it to applications. Then once that is done, you can close this dialog box. Fine. Then you can close this tab, this tab. You can leave this tab if needed. Okay, we'll come back here again if needed, right? Once that is done, now you need to go to the applications. So go to Finder and then Applications. And this will be Docker. Okay, here it is in my case. So double click that. So it's asking me, is an app downloaded from the internet? Do you want to open it? Open. So it asks you for the previous access. You'll have to provide the password or the thumbprint, depending on the version of a Mac system. OK. So it's asking for the password for now. OK, then I'm typing my password. OK, then it will start. Okay, so it now says Docker desktop is now up and running. So now you need to configure this to increase some of the memory spaces needed. So what you can do, you can close this, then click it back here, then click on preferences. So that'll take you here. Then go to this resources. It by default allocates four cores of CPU. That should be enough, but for the memory this won't be so I'll increase this to 4 gig minimum memory once that is set then click on apply and restart okay so now dock is running fine then you can close this okay now the next step starts so the next for the next step what you need to do first you need to run these commands now from the terminal see from terminal run this command now start the terminal so here terminal okay then this is the command the first command line is to pull the sql server sql server from the microsoft repository so copy this line then <clears throat> either you type it or paste it then enter Again, that'll take some time to download and install it. Okay, that's all done. Okay, once this is done, now we need to start the service. Okay, let's see either we can start this from the Docker or not. Let's see, that'll be more easier. If you click on dashboard, 
so no containers running that's that it says so first we need to run the service now to run the service you'll have to run the second command line see from this part to the whole bit here there's the command so this bit looks a bit technical see I'm just expanding it like to <clears throat> so just to show you the lines a little bit differently here so docker run right <clears throat> then this name of the docker instance is my sequel so you can give any name there doesn't matter then this minus e that is some of the, the system flag that it needs okay that's the system flag that it needs i'll show you how to see what these options means if you want to see that later on then accept license that's it that is accept end user license is yes and then again this sa password that's the default username and password to be used this sa underscore password should remain as it is you can't change the name but this password can be any password you can that, that you want to use but to make sure that is a bit stronger or it should be the combination of some numbers characters and special symbols something like that otherwise it will keep on asking you for the strong password then this is your port number this is the default port that SQL server runs on Linux and then this is the image that's the SQL server that you have installed okay then enter so that will be all started as a service now so if you flip back to the previous window here now now here you can see mysql server see this is the name that we have given here what is it mysql server this is the name so you will see this exactly the same name there okay so this is running on port 1433 that's all fine now okay now the next software that you'll need is see <coughs> the next software you'll need is azure data studio again you can download this from the microsoft website let's see if this link works otherwise what you can do if not sure you can simply go here and type download azure data studio so download install the azure data studio why i'm going to going in this space directly because they keep on updating the url like this docker was also changed many features has been changed the docker url is also changed that's why so get Azure Data Studio for Windows, for Mac OS, see, download this. Again, the same process, save the file. right and then open that in the folder in the finder then there's the zip file so i'll run this with you have got winzip you can use that otherwise you can use the archive utility okay so you can see this azure data studio right then you can move this into the applications folder if you want that'll be better so i'm just moving that into the applications folder and get inside the applications folder here i can find azure data studio open that again the same question there that's been downloaded from the internet would you like to open it yes open so that'll take you here okay i'm just closing this bit for now we don't need that then the server see server would be always local host which is again given in this file that i've given you earlier see local host then the authentication system would be secure login we have that your username is sa by default which means system administration or system admin then password see i've used this password earlier so i'm copying it and pasting it here okay once you've got these credentials filled in then click on connect so that'll take you to the this interface and if you 
click on this bit see that will show you the databases and whatever it contains all the components right this is how you download and install but if you need to create the new database here you can't see if you right click this you won't see that option that you see in the SQL Server Management Studio like in Windows so here to create the database you need to click on this new query okay and here you need to write the command so create database followed by whatever database you want to create since we did academy database academy okay then you can highlight this and click on run see that says command completed successfully and now if you re refresh this databases folder see you will see the database there likewise now for tables see again we don't have the option to create the table by right clicking it then you need to write the command so that's the limitation in this azure data studio you can't do many things visually you will have to write the command or the alternatively say to create the tables you can say create but since we haven't seen the commands yet so this will be a little bit difficult for you that i can understand but still so create table that'll be too complex for you at this point anyway the command part will be working on the, in the next session so this is how you download and install it in the mac systems for now but again see this azure data studio doesn't have the database design the database diagrams feature so it's very limited as of now okay this is how we download and install in the mac systems thank you so much and see you bye bye